Well, hello, friends. I'm David Voth, and it is a beautiful day in Texas. Well, I suppose you guys have been seeing all these videos about Walmart. We're trying to figure out what's going on here. Well, there's quite a bit of fuss going on about these Walmarts. And I've got some ideas that I'd like to share with you and some very important information that I'd like to share with you today. I'm going to show you a couple of clips about what people are saying and then I'd like to show you some evidence that I don't think has been put out there yet. Something very interesting. So just hang on and watch these clips and I'll get back to you here in just a second. The Walmart closing started. They started talking about um, how they were putting um, uh, fences around them and making them into federal camps. People were hearing booming noises right before they did that at the one in Ohio. And I've been living in Blythewood here for the last year now, and I've been hearing booming noises. So, uh, people are noticing that some strange things are going on with Walmart. One started off, there was a lot of Walmarts that were closing. Now, I have said in, I think, another video of mine that I don't believe that that is anything to be worried about because what is happening is Walmart is going to go online. They're going to be like Amazon. This is what they're gearing up to. So they'll probably be closing a lot of their centers pretty soon and not to worry about that. However, there is something else that I have noticed. They're talking about these, you know, when they shut these Walmart centers down, what are they going to do with the building? Wouldn't they just sell the building and move on? Well, that's not what they're doing. Walmart is not selling their old buildings, even though they won't be needing them. They're going to use them for some kind of distribution centers. Um, they're all set up, and they've got something going on. They're, some of them, they're putting bob wire fencing around it, uh, military-grade enclosures. There has been a lot of sightings of military vehicles. We know that they're heavily involved with the government in cahoots with with government agencies and we've seen videos on all of that but there's something that I noticed actually some years ago quite a few years ago maybe over 10 years ago and I just put it back in my mind didn't think much about it this is when I was living in New Mexico in the town that I was living in behind the Walmart there was a big I don't know what to call it but some kind of it looked like a reservoir or something and I always wondered why Walmart had such a thing and it, it I, you know I didn't consciously think about it way those many years ago but I did kinda seem I seems like I was a little suspicious as to why Walmart built such a thing and I always noticed that there was every time I would go to another Walmart in another town I noticed they had the same thing and started getting more and more suspicious about this now I want you to see some of these pictures of some of these Walmarts and you'll see what I'm talking about all right, now here's a Walmart, and honestly, I took some of these pictures with a snapshot on my computer, and I don't remember which some of these pictures, I don't know where they all were. There are various places throughout the United States. I remember some of them were in Wisconsin. This is probably Wisconsin. And this is actually near, this is actually where they're hearing these booms, actually this particular one is and this one as well you see that both of these have these reservoirs these little sunken reservoirs behind the Walmart parking lot this is Wisconsin and I've got some of Florida and Arkansas and you know uh, Louisiana and different places all over the United States and it turns out that every Walmart has one of these little dried up usually dried up sometimes they have water but uh, every one of them has one of these. And I'm going to show you a close-up here. Okay. Now, if you notice, there is uh, towards the parking lot, going towards Walmart, there are drainage openings, you might say. That's what you would think they would be, right? Culverts or openings that go in the direction of Walmart. Now that's interesting and they're all this way because if it was a an outlet for flooding or something 
then the drainages would be going away from Walmart towards the city, the city sewer or lines or something. But the the openings come from Walmart and into the dr these big reservoirs. And invariably, I've seen almost all of them start where the shipping area is, where they pull the trucks up in the in the back where they do their unloading with their distribution centers and right where the trucks pull in there is an opening and some sort it, as if there's something's going on I mean can you imagine in every one of these Walmarts what is it that's in there that they would need to drain right because we're not draining the streets that the city handles that drainage in the streets and you know in case of flooding and so forth and it's certainly not the sewer. That's not the open sewer. It's it's a drainage just for something, and it's draining. You see the two drain, drain drainage holes, openings, apertures, right there. As they're they're always toward the parking lot, towards Walmart. And so, what is it that Walmart needs to drain? Because you see, Walmart's do this, but it, I don't see this happening with Kmart's, or I don't see. Um, Home Depot is doing this. So what is it that Walmart needs with these large reservoirs in their backyards? And why is the openings of their apertures that drain coming from the Walmart itself going into the to these drainage things? Is it perhaps a camouflage for something else? Because these little tunnels that look like drainage you know, uh, culverts or whatever. Many of them are very large, and almost all of them originate the the mouth of the opening. The little tunnel always seems to be going right straight to the place where they load and unload at their distribution centers. So, perhaps they are ventilations for a shaft. Perhaps they are. I don't know. This is the question that I have for all of you. If you notice, I'm going to show you many of these pictures. That you see in that picture on the top right of the screen, there's the the culvert, the aperture that goes straight to the parking lot. And there is where the trucks are pulling in right there on the left hand, bottom left. That's the truck pulling in to, to unload. And so underground, there's a hole going right straight into where they're unloading. Now look at this one. That's quite a reservoir. That one's got water in it. And um, I cannot figure out, if you look right in the center of that picture, there's a, a little opening that goes right to where they're unloading there. They're all the same. And I cannot figure out why only Walmart needs these little drainage areas. There's a little bit more of a close-up there, and you'll notice there's a big tree right in the middle, and there's a bunch of boxes or whatever, I don't know, and uh, that's where they're parking their trucks to unload, and right off to the side there is the drainage right into this big reservoir. So, are they camouflaging tunnels? Is this the ventilation areas? In case their tunnels get flooded, they can drain them. Um, look at these every one of them every Walmart has this friends every Walmart and you put this together with the fact that they are closing these Walmarts down and yet keeping the Walmarts they're not doing business they're putting fences around they're having security put in place they're um, sometimes posting police out around their perimeters but they're not selling the buildings they're just they just have these trucks pulling in and unloading and loading and and right where they're unloading and loading there's a vent that leads to this hole that's in every one of these Walmarts. I don't care if it's uh, California, Illinois, Wisconsin, Florida, Idaho. I haven't done a lot of looking overseas. You can go on yourself and look with Google Maps but and let me know what's going on but you see some of them are like that one. If you notice, that one doesn't have a lot of cement. It's just a big... Well, a lot of them from the sky look like it's grass, but 
some of those are just made out of rock. There's rock placed, and then the grass is growing between the rocks. I've noticed that. But they all have some kind of a culvert leading to the some kind of a an opening or a ventilation thing. Some of them are large. You could almost walk right into them, like a tunnel. But they all have one. In every town I've ever lived, and as I'm showing you here, in every Walmart in the United States, because that's the only place I've done any investigation on this. So what I'd like to do is have everybody, you know, put their two cents worth in here and let's talk about this and see if we can figure out why Walmart would want to do this. See in that picture, that right in the middle of the picture, there's where they're unloading and it's there's the drainage going with a ditch, a cement ditch going right down into this big drainage area. There's the ventilation. Why do they need ventilation coming out of where they're loading? From the underground. See, So it seems like they're unloading these trucks and taking them down into a, a basement. Right? They just keep loading and unloading there. And a lot of these are even closed and they're still loading and unloading. So, what's really going on? We, we need to figure this out because something's going on with Walmart, right? Something's going on, and they're not going to tell us. So, let's, let's put this together. This is another piece that we've got to put together with all of this that's going on. Here's a, a shot that I used um, that gets you down on the ground floor, ground level. You can see that's behind one of these Walmarts. You can see how deep this little reservoir is. And you can see this one's just grass. I'm going to show you another angle. And you'll see that they do have some rock. Not in this in this shot. But you're just looking at those drainage ditches. See how large it is. It's not large enough to walk into. This is just a drainage aperture. But you see how it goes straight towards the area where they unload their 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 trucks. I think it's very peculiar. And I'd like, for one, to understand why there's some need to have ventilation coming from the underground behind and underneath Walmart, friends. So, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and show you some more clips about this and these booms. I think maybe the booms are, perhaps they're building tunnels, right? So, watch these clips, friends, and let me know what you think. This is David Bose, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a Nevertheless good day. Residents of Fairlawn, New Jersey, wondering if it will happen again. For about a week there, the area has been plagued by loud, booming sounds. Problem is, no one knows where the sound is coming from. We were like looking at each other like, what was that? It happened twice in the past week to Danielle McManus and her family. While inside their home, in a usually very quiet Fairlawn neighborhood, things went bump in the night. If we didn't know any better. It almost sounds like a cannon. It was so deep and just like echoey. Elsewhere in this neighborhood along the Passaic River, residents say they've heard loud booms as early as 6 p.m. and as late as 2 in the morning. It's like, psh, psh. It was like, grr, grr, brr, like that. I uh, heard the noise, so I came out here. Sometimes, you know, people dump garbage. You know, I sounded like a garbage truck. Initially, they thought maybe the noises were coming from this PSE and G plant in Patterson across the river from the communities where the noises are being reported. Construction is going on, but a neighbor closest to this plant says the booms are not coming from here. Have you heard any sounds coming from this plant? No explosions. He has extra officers deployed, more eyes and ears for when whatever it is disturbs the peace again. And that's been kind of frightening me because when I heard um, one of the videos in the Ohio one saying that they heard booming noises, that showed that they were talking about building underground. Almost all the counties in our coverage area are covered. Now take a look at some of what our viewers posted on Facebook. Kelly writes, it sounded, in, she's writing from Havana at around 1030, it sounded like a loud truck rumbling went outside and nothing. Also, Precious B writes, it felt like I heard the noise you I heard at the time, referenced my home shook. I thought it was an earthquake. Yet another viewer 
also telling us that this one is uh, Stephanie. She says, I have heard and felt several times over the last few days, dogs go crazy and the windows rattle. It felt like the whole house was shaking. Now, we did reach out to this as some of you, so many of you were talking about this. We decided to go in search of what may have caused the boom. We reached out to Tyndall Air Force Base near Panama City. Officials told us four of their aircraft were flying Tuesday evening during that time, but they also said there was no indication of any sonic boom that would be noticeable in the areas reported. Oh, and I also wanted to show you this map. This is going around too. It's supposed to be the map of some of the tunnels, the networks of the tunnels. And you can see there, it, um, this, the date on this thing is 1973. So it looks like maybe they've been, about the time that Walmart started building their Walmarts. And uh, if you look back at that map, it looks like it all goes back to Area 51. And uh, I don't think you can see it there in that shot that I'm showing you, but one of the tunnels seems to be going to White Sands and also there in Texas and other military base. A lot of those tunnels are going from military bases. So, I don't know, friends. We'll see you guys later. Tonight, a story about a nice place they're calling a boom town, jokingly. The problem is it's not funny. The good people in one town in Wisconsin would right now give anything to find out what's making that noise. Their story tonight from NBC's Kevin Tibbles. In what used to be sleepy Clintonville, Wisconsin, something's going boom in the night. It was almost like someone took a wrecking ball to the side of the house. Problem is, no one in this town of 4600 west of Green Bay seems to know what it is. I thought a car was coming through my house. It was that loud. For three nights running, residents have been shaken and awakened. All these dots represent 365 residents reporting booms. There's like some noises out there. I don't know what the hell it is. We have some weird thing going on in that whole house is shaking. While it's a serious situation, I think that in fairness to our citizens, people are trying to have a little bit of fun with it. And the Twitter sphere reverberated. What are the booms in Clintonville, Wisconsin? I had no idea they were filming the Tremors remake in Clintonville, Wisconsin. Bert, they're under the ground. This may sound familiar. In the 1990 sci-fi spoof Tremors, underground aliens shake up a small town in Nevada, 2,000 miles from Clintonville, Wisconsin. No Richter scale can measure it. No scientist can explain it. Scientists do seem to know what it isn't. It's not an earthquake or underground explosion or exploding gas or electrical problem or even burping sewer system. And not a frost quake caused by unseasonably warm temperatures. So far, experts are stumped as to what it is. Their whole lives are being disrupted by this, and, and we don't have a good answer for them. So tonight, the mystery continues as to why Clintonville has become Boomtown, USA. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago.